but before this video starts, I just want to say I'm doing a giveaway when I hit 1,000 subscribers. So all you gotta do is subscribe and turn on notifications, and then head over to the video in the top of the description and uh, like that video and tell me in that video, comment down why you would what you would buy with the gift cards for PlayStation or Xbox. It could be V Bucks or anything. So yeah, just do that and you'll be in with the chance of winning when I hit 1,000 subscribers. Tell you mates. Right guys, we're back to the video, so as in Tale of the Tiles, today we're doing 50 things you might not know about Fortnite Battle Royale. So put Mike in there because there's going to be a few people in the comments saying, oh, I know every one of these. So I put Mike, maybe you know uh, a few, maybe you didn't know a few of them, so uh, yeah, put that in there. Also, I'd like to say this actually took so long to make, literally about two days of working trying to do this because uh, I put... I had to record all the clips and then uh, do a voiceover for all of them and then put it into the editing software and make all like the numbers 1 to 50 put it in and stuff like that it just took ages Lit literally got papers and papers of uh, just writing like what clips I should do and just uh, thinking of them was pretty hard as well because obviously 50 I was going to do 100 to start but 50 was enough and uh, yeah so it literally took ages so a like would be very appreciated just uh, just so you uh, liked it and stuff so and also if you do want to see me again uh, consider con subscribing so click that and also um, YouTube's like sub boxes be messing up so it wouldn't be putting uh, people's uh, videos into uh, like subscribers sub boxes so if you could uh, hit the little bell notification icon that would uh, tell you when uh, I upload and you'll never miss videos so um, yeah Apart from that, I think uh, I think we're ready. So uh, yeah, let's get into 50 things you didn't know about Fortnite Battle Royale. When completing all the weekly challenges, you get an, a loading screen, and on that loading screen is a hint to where the hidden battle star is. You can use one like J2SW on the number plate of of the ATK, and that suggests in J2 coordinate and southwest in that coordinate. There are two vehicles in the game right now, there's a trolley which two people can ride and is very slow compared to the other vehicle, the ATK, which is uh, four people and um, is very quick. Towards the end of season 4, the Der Burger was taken from the shop in Greasy Grove and then pre-launch for season 5, the Der Burger was actually found in a desert in America in real life and then when, when season 5 was launched it was placed on top of a mountain in the east of Pleasant. Season 3, 4 and 5 had 100 tier battle passes and if you would buy every tier it cost around £95, $125 or €106. Euros. All the Fortnite name locations are alliterated so that means uh, like Lazy Links L and L or Tilty Towers T and T. There have been nine limited time modes in Fortnite, including Infinity Gauntlet, 50 v 50, High Explosive, Sniper Shootout, Blitz, Teams of 20, Solid Gold, Sneaky Silences, and Solo Showdown. For some reason, Epic Games changed the Victory Royale logo, and it used to look different. Let's go! Throw the basketball on him. I want a gentleman's dad, please. Oh! 105 headshot, and he, he was, we were both one hit. Oh my gosh. 
Epic Games celebrated their first birthday of Fortnite Battle Royale by letting people complete three challenges to unlock a birthday back bling. For Fortnite's first birthday celebration, Epic Games changed the look and the sound of the battle bus. And if you listen carefully, it's actually a remix of the traditional happy birthday sound. In Fortnite Battle Royale right now, there's 23 legendary skins, 43 epic, 40 rare and 24 uncommon, and that's excluding the battle pass. Epic Games has changed their menu music and it never used to sound like this. The 48 kill solo record came from a guy knocking down the ramp where 48 people were standing trying to watch the season 4 take off. If you crouch and look down while hitting something, it'll break it quicker as it hits all the blue circles. To this date, there hasn't been a week without a search chest in the name location challenge. If you go into settings and then all the way over to account, there's a part at the bottom saying gifting receive from others and you can flick yes or no. So could that mean gifting is coming to the game? Maybe by the time you're watching this, it's come. When in a wooden base, you can use the gaps in the wood with like a sniper to scope in and find people around you. Pretty useful because you don't get a head sniped. You can break your fall with certain objects and items like bounce pads, launch pads, impulse grenades and tyres. The quickest way to farm 9 and 9 materials would be to go to Wailing Woods and just mine trees. I did this and, and did it in 2 minutes and 31 seconds. If you go to the hill near the shifty shafts and the safety towers, it's actually where the battle bus has crashed after dropping everyone off. So there's a few chests and it's a decent place to land. Around the map there are football pitches, but they're not always obvious, like this one the goals don't look like football goals, so you gotta look out for them carefully. Some skins on Fortnite are actually based on characters, so like uh, Valor is Superwoman and the Reaper is John Wick and Rest Lord is Star Lord. You can acquire first shot accuracy by waiting for your plus sign in the middle of the screen to settle when you're scoped into your gun. Different guns obtain this quicker so you'll have to wait with some guns. In the northeast of the map there is an editable building where you or anyone else can edit and also has three chest spots and floor loops so it's a pretty good place to land on solos.
In Fortnite Battle Royale right now, there are 48 gliders, and that's excluding the Battle Pass. You can throw an impulse grenade on the floor and it will throw you forward very far and makes you quicker than the storm so you can escape it. When searching the island you can find mushrooms that give you 5 shield, apples that give you 5 HP and then also right now birthday cake that can give you 5 shield and 5 HP. After just killing someone, pull out your axe and then run through the loot spamming equip as it'll only pick up ammo and, and materials and then you'll easily see what you need to add to your inventory. Like in the clip here, if wood's too high to hit and you have to jump every time to hit it, just jump once, hit it, and then continuously hit the blue circle as it will remain hitting the actual wood. If you get a win in Fortnite, you actually get an umbrella as a glider, and they get down to the ground very quickly. Uh, if you get a win just randomly, it's just, you get the umbrella, and then a snowflake for season two, and a paper parasol for season three, and so on and so on. Fortnite added an awesome trolley park on top of a mountain that was in the game. It has around three places to fall off of the trolley, a chest, and some trees, so it's a great place to land, and also just have some fun. Loot llamas contain great items, but you don't actually have to search them, it's much quicker to use your axe or a gun to break them, and they'll always give the same items as if you were to search them. The Royal Knight and Blue Squire are both skins from Season 2 Battle Pass. They both had a back bling, but they were both exactly the same, but different items. A famous YouTuber called Moose Elk found a player who had fallen down this mountain and couldn't build back up. He eventually died and Fortnite decided to add in a rest in peace gravestone which I thought was a pretty nice touch and you can find it by here. A kid entered the boogie down contest wearing an orange shirt and did this dance. He didn't win but people thought there should be justice for the orange shirt kid and that's why we have orange justice. In the north of the map next to Lazy Links and the motel, there's actually a place on the map which looks like an umbrella, so if you zoom in onto your map, you can actually see it. And then there's also two chest spots at the bottom, and there's also floor loot with some brick around, so it's a very good place to land on solos. Fortnite didn't make a massive deal about this, but in the account settings, there's a place where you can return unwanted items. You've only got three attempts though, and you have to have to have bought it in the last 30 days.
Look around the map for these pallets because the, the tallest form of them gives you a minimum of 40 wood and they're very easy to break. Small red X to the left of your gun when trying to shoot means there's an object blocking that shot so you'll shoot the object. Move out a little bit and you'll be able to shoot again. In Fortnite Battle Royale right now there's 56 emotes and that is excluding the battle pass so obviously there's a few more after that. Like shown in the clip here, if you build a, four walls, a roof, and a cone on top of that roof, and a cone on top of you, you're protected from all angles with two walls. If you link up your Amazon Prime with your Twitch account, you create a Twitch Prime account, which gives you a free sub, and you can also get you gifts on Fortnite. For example, they added a Twitch Prime pack for, for the first one, which included Havoc and the Sub Commander and a Glider, and then a Twitch Prime pack number two gave you Trailblazer with its, with its axe and a freestyling dance. Instead of always building flats across Loot Lake, try editing your cone in the two corners to build a, a small a ledge to get across and it saves materials. <laughs> All Fortnite characters are right handed so when shotgun battling try and poke out on the right of a place so that you show your gun before your player and then they'll be open to shoot your gun. There was a time when people couldn't play Fortnite for about a day, so Epic decided to give people the Rust Bucket, which was the Rust Lord's back bling. But if you didn't get it, you couldn't get it. If you go into shifty shafts and build up to the little roof, you can find different places to hide. And they're great for if you like camping, or uh, hide and seek with your mates, or even you have to go somewhere and you need to leave your controller. The top of an 80k vehicle is actually bouncy, so it could be used to like break your fall or get somewhere. If you crouch, you're virtually silent, so it helps if you if you can hear someone, and they they don't know you're there. Although it seems obvious, the thicker the tree, the more wood you collect. Out of all the places on the map, even with Paradise Palms, Tilted Towers has the most chests with 42, so there's loads of loot for everyone. You didn't know I could do this.
Right then, that was 50 things you might not know about Fortnite Battle Royale. I hope you enjoyed it. And if there's something you uh, learned from that video, maybe put it in the comment section below. And uh, see if anyone else thought the same and didn't know that one. And also, um, yeah, like I said at the start of the video, I'm doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So when I hit 1,000 subscribers, I will be giving away a PSN or Xbox card to uh, the winner. Obviously, depending on what console they play on. So tell your mates and uh, just get them involved because the uh, quicker I get to 1,000, quicker you'll know who won. So, um, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, please hit thumbs up and subscribe when you're ready. Peace.